My name is Becky Farley, and I'm a physical therapist and a neuroscientist living in Tucson, Arizona. I hope this video will inspire all of you to join the Parkinson's exercise revolution. Because healthcare paradigms today have to change if we are to realize the real world potential of exercise to slow disease progression. During my postdoc, I learned about the compelling data in animal models of Parkinson's disease suggesting that exercise may be disease-modifying through mechanisms of neuroprotection and neuroplasticity. I began thinking about the rehab implications and how to translate these data into real-world paradigms. Typically, only about 60% of the individuals with Parkinson's disease ever receive even a single bout of therapy, and that is usually due to a fall or injury. According to research, timing is critical for neuroprotection. So people will need to get started at diagnosis or even earlier before motor symptoms are realized as more biomarkers are available. Access for life to a threshold dosage of exercise will be required in new paradigms to maintain physiological and functional benefits. Finally, Paradigms will need to address the non-motor barriers like stigma, negative perceptions, fatigue, sleep problems, and anxiety. Research suggests these factors negate the benefits of exercise and interfere with access to and participation in exercise and are therefore considered pro-degenerative factors. Only then can we slow motor deterioration put off end-stage disease, and offer realistic hope for disease modification. In 2010, I started a nonprofit called Parkinson Wellness Recovery, or PWR for short. Our mission was to design a community neurofitness and wellness center and to cultivate a unique environment to optimize the physiological drivers required for brain health and repair. In 2012, we opened the doors to the first power gym in Tucson, Arizona. We call our program Power for Life. It is a proactive model that allows for lifelong access. It uniquely integrates therapy, fitness, and wellness all in one facility. This model provides a research-based neuroplasticity principled framework for everything we do. All power gym classes and therapy programs involve progressive aerobic exercise and Parkinson-specific skill training, which we call the power moves. So let's get started. Here's our team, and we'll see you in the gym. No matter what the exercise or activity, the emphasis is always Good. on quality practice, requiring high effort for bigger and faster whole body movements as the foundation to override bradykinesia. Keep that long step with that right foot, Craig. Beautiful. Nice. The basic four power moves directly target skills shown by research to be impaired and to interfere with function and mobility. Amplitude-focused functional training can now be performed in any position and be instructed by therapists and fitness professionals in group and one-on-one -on -one settings. The difficulty and complexity may be progressed to challenge strength, balance, coordination, and cognition for all fitness levels.
Right. One, one, two, and I like that sleep three, shot. Three, four. four. Awesome. Mm. Come back down. And you can rock back into child's pose. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Four. Punch your bag as hard as you can. Looks good. Full twist. You're powered up. Good. And up. That's one. Good. Down. And two. Down. Reaching up as high as you can. Three. Will. While the motor training is important, it is not just about what you do, but how you do it. Three, four, five, six. Together, really reach those arms up. Motor training needs to be both physically and cognitively challenging. It should be delivered under conditions of high attentional focus. Above all, it needs to be emotionally rewarding. The power moves may also be integrated into other research-based community programs like Tai Chi, dance, yoga, and boxing. collecting data on over 120 members every six months for the last three years. We had three posters at the World Parkinson's Congress in Portland, Oregon in September. We are now in the process of writing up our one-year Power Gym data for publication. More recently, we have partnered with other similar organizations to start a global petition and to raise awareness for the need for proactive therapies for people with Parkinson's disease. We call that PATH. We want all people with Parkinson's disease to have access to places like the Power Gym and their own community. Please read more about our goals and visit the link to PATH on our website at powerforlife.org. Thank you everyone for your attention.